Hey guys, PJ here from 3D Printing Canada. Today, we're gonna take a look at all things slice engineering. Now, taking a look at what we have in front of us, we have the Mosquito hot end and the Copperhead hot end. The Mosquito hot end is adaptable to a whole bunch of different heat breaks as well as their new Magnum high flow. I don't have in stock yet, but we will be bringing those to you again in further videos. The Copperhead is really adaptable to any printer. The nice thing is, is you don't just have to use their heat sink. They've made heat breaks to adapt to all kinds of printers out there on the market. So first off in front of us, we have the Mosquito hot end as it comes, okay? So if you do require different mounting other than screwing it into your printer from the top here, you can go ahead and purchase the groove mount. If you have a groove mount, we also have a threaded stem adapter. Now with the threaded stem adapter, it's for nozzles with adjustable heights or a CreateBot style printer where you might need to thread it in and that just mounts on the top of the mosquito. So they've really covered all aspects so you can adapt them to other printers as well. So now if you have happened to, let's say, um, wanted to switch to the mosquito Magnum heat break for a higher flow, they also have that option. We also carry the ceramic insulator if you wanted to adapt that to the Magnum. So this is also an option you can purchase for the Mosquito. Also, if you happen to damage your stock heat break and just wanna st stick with the stock heat break, you can do so. We also carry those as well. Also, if you've ever had an explosion in your life, we also carry the hot blocks. Also, you can purchase the little aluminum standoffs here, if you happen to bend them or something happens in the future. I mean, I haven't had any problems, um, so you should be okay. But if you do damage them, we carry them. So that's everything that we carry for the Mosquito as of this moment. It's one of my go-to hot ends. Um, on any printer I use personally, I like to use a slice engineering hot end, especially for any type of high temperature application, nylon, nylon carbon fiber, and other stuff will go all the way into peak with the temperatures you can hit. Also, you would need to upgrade your thermistor and heater cartridges for those applications. So let's just show you what comes inside. You get the Mosquito hot end already assembled this way. Now remember, you don't get a nozzle or a groove mount. They do provide hardware, Allen wrenches because they do use a different size than most people carry. I believe it's a 1.3. Um, so, and then you get suckers. How many people give you suckers with your hot end? Okay, we're gonna move on to the Copperhead next. So next we have my all time favorite, the Copperhead. So what I'm gonna do here is show you all the attachments and pieces we have with some close up shots. Just to let you guys know, the Copperheads and the Mosquitoes will work with all E3D style nozzles. They do carry their own as well. So the next piece here, you can buy these all individually, is the screw mount style heat sink. So if you have the screw mount style, you can go ahead and purchase this heat sink, or if you have the groove mount style, you can purchase the groove mount style. So one of the really cool things about the Copperhead by Slice Engineering is that they've made adaptable heat breaks for different styles heat sinks. So if you didn't want to sink out all the money and go with their whole setup, you could go ahead, take that heat sink out of the equation, purchase just your heater block. Let's say you have an MK10 style machine. No problem. They designed a heat break for you. Let's say you have an MK8 style with threads. They got you covered again. Or how about a V6 heat sink? 
and you wanted to keep your heat sink and a little less work, they got you covered again. They did the V6 style for their hot block as well. Remember, now you can hit higher temperatures because of the heater block and heat break. So if you had a C Pro Max, they got you covered again. They made a heat break for that one as well. And for all you Creality users out there, they went ahead and made a CE style heat break, which is actually really cool. So if you have your Creality heat sink, you can use their heat break and hot block and install it on your Ender, your Ender Max, your Ender 6, anything with the stock style Ender hot end on it from Creality will accept this heat break and you won't have to purchase the heat sink. And then just install your Bowden tube and away you go. So there you have it. That's all the attachments and an overview of our Copperhead hot end by Slice Engineering. So some more of the products we carry here at 3D Printing Canada from Slice Engineering. So here we have their plastic repellent. It's a brush on product. You can go ahead and brush that on any hot end or nozzle. Here we have their 24 volt 2510, if I'm not mistaken, heat sink cooling fan that fits directly on the Mosquito and Copperhead heat sinks. And here we have Slice Engineering's torque wrench, which is very good for installing nozzles. Now keep in mind guys, this works with their nozzles. And last but not least, one of the most important parts to installing your thermistor and heater cartridge is the boron nitride paste. Guys, don't get any of this in your mouth. You can wear gloves when putting it in. It's definitely something you don't wanna get inside your mouth. So just keep that in mind when, while using the boron nitride paste. And we're back guys. I hope you enjoyed all the Slice Engineering products we had to showcase today. I hope you found it very informative. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends. And personally, I can't wait to see what the future holds in the innovation end of Slice Engineering. They are definitely my favorite hot end on the market at this moment. See you guys in the next video.